It's Autodesk University 2009. I'm here at the AEC Lounge, and this time I'm with David Epps. And David is the Senior Engineer Building Information Modeling for Holder Construction Company. And I understand, David, you're going to be teaching a course involving Navisworks, but in specific, or one of the emphasis aspects, is 4D. And I think that would be very interesting for the audience to hear about. Well, the concept behind 4D really is the tying of geometry to the project schedule. So really, you can use that throughout the whole life cycle of the project. Um, early stages, um, you can use it for basically showing the owner how you're actually going to be building the building. So you can use it for project procurement. Once you actually procure the project, you can work with your superintendents. And they have a whole process where they can get that idea of how they're going to build this project down on paper. But what you can do is you can work with them to basically take those pieces of paper, take those ideas they have in their head, combine that with the geometry using building information modeling, using Navisworks, tie that information to the project schedule and help them visualize exactly what it is they're going to be building. And they can see from that perspective, they can simulate how that construction process is going to flow and take a look at all the different ideas and all the different options they can use, tweak it as necessary, and keep looking at different simulations. So really they're building the project multiple times, but doing it using, using the computer, doing it digitally. And then during the project cycle, you can do what we call three-week look-aheads, where you're actually taking a look out for the next three weeks, bringing that information to the project teams and saying, look, this is a snapshot of the next three weeks. Sub A, this is where you're going to be working. Sub B, this is where you're going to be working. We don't want you guys to overlap. So you can get, right. you know, you just basically focus on the different areas you're going to be working in. And then once, once the project is complete, you can actually do an after-the-fact schedule where you can actually take a look at how the project really was built. And you can kind of do some simulations and some interesting things there where you can compare where you originally planned the project to build and look back on how it was actually built. So you and can pick up lessons learned and apply exactly, them for the next exactly. project. Right. And then the owners can actually use that as a marketing tool. They can say, look, this is how our project was built. They're building multiple projects like that. They're a spec office building builder. They can go get funding for future projects by saying, look how this project went last time. You can use that to get funding. You can use it in higher education. that uses that information quite a bit. Yeah, that's fascinating. Is there a specific project that your company's done that where you've applied these practices? Yeah, we have um, a project called Central Park East out in Phoenix, Arizona. Uh, we actually just finished doing a pr pretty large marketing effort after the fact for them, building their, um, sp specifically focusing on certain trades, like for instance, structure and skin, and the sequencing of how that all interplayed. We were able to give that to the owner, and they're using it as an actual marketing tool out there in the West to basically try and find tenants for the building. It's a spec office building. Mm -hmm. So using that to kind of show this is how in-depth we use the, for the, use the technology for this project, and this is you know the, the high-quality finishes, this is the sequence we use, this is how we leverage lead. And we're basically showing all that using the 4D and how we actually built the project. So they're using that to, again, help find tenants to build out the project. Oh, that's great. Well, 4D is definitely a key trend that we're seeing, and of course, Navis works in its role in bringing all these model information together to give you a whole view and I th also think it's very interesting to show clients who may not be comfortable with 2D traditional plans if they see something in 3D it really resonates and I'm sure you've seen that in your work with 4D especially. Yeah actually going into project interviews it's amazing because you know only a quarter of the population can look at a set of 2D plans and really interpret what that means. Yeah. You try that try it to 4D <laughs> and really nobody can understand what that means. <laughs> but we'll take that information into a project interview and show the owner exactly how their one two three year project is going to look in about 60 seconds. They have no questions. And people can look at a Gantt chart for you know a schedule. You really can't get an idea of what's going on where, exactly. where different areas of the project are building at the same time. We show them a 3D model building itself according to time. They have no questions. Pretty clear and simple. Oh, it's great. Well, thank you so much for your time and good luck on your course. I appreciate it. Thank you.